uh, Crazy Dave. Dave Dessler is my name. I go by the name Crazy Dave, and I'm what you'd call a street poet. I uh, sit out here on the corner. I write poetry. I do it on pieces of uh, cardboard for people they can purchase that, and uh, I use that for about three years to support myself. And about halfway into that three years, I, a photographer came by, Jean Boulet, and after talking a bit, we ended up doing this book together. So it's a combination of uh, photography and art, uh, an interview that he's done with me, uh, a little story about how we met. So it's a combination of two people's art form, and it's kind of what that was all about when I was doing the poetry. Was take me somewhere else. Now uh, I've got a place, I live, I've got a room in the Lafayette, I don't live on the streets, I still come out here and do my thing, but I'm able to take my my life ahead and I'm working on another book and John, we're still in contact, this is our second edition of this book, so hopefully we'll be able to do another 400 copies after we get rid of all these. We sold all of the first printing, which was 400, plus 90 over prints, so 490. Then we got another 400 done, and we've almost got them paid for, so we've almost sold about 800 copies. And I'd like to do a third copy to break the thou a third printing to break the thousand mark. Right in the back of the book is the acknowledgement and where is it? Uh, right there, you might want to get that, is John's website. Because he, he's a government worker, but he also does photography on the side. It's his own business. Okay. So he sold a lot of books over his website. Uh, like I said, it's not only my book, it's our book. He is, John. as they'd say, he is the author. He did, he took all the pictures, we talked, this and that. He's the one that actually took it all, organized it, and put it all together. Okay. So it's not just my poetry or just pictures of me. There's also uh, there's a second chapter, which is other photos that John's taken down here in the market, up on Spark Street, just through, of people he's seen. So it's not just uh, it's, it's not, not just, just poetry. It's all about me. It's it, it's not just poetry. It's a cut. That's where it's like it's we each have our own art form. Mine is my poetry. His is his photography. We talked about it. Decided let's do a book, and we're we're combining both our art forms. Because in the book are pictures of the poems written on the cardboard. It's not just the poems typed out. It's only if the poems can't be read off the cardboard. For instance, there's me holding, do you know? Now that would be kind of hard to read. But on the next page, there it's it is all printed out okay. with another picture with one of my, what I call, original sayings. If life is stacked against you, cheat harder. And that's... That's not in the sense of cheating as in cheating someone, it's uh, another name for a shortcut is a cheat. So when you're doing your income tax, if you have this particular form, you can slip five, six steps that you don't got to fill all in, that's your cheat. It makes it that much faster, that much easier. So I didn't, when I said that, it wasn't in the sense of cheating people, it was in the sense, find your shortcuts, find the little things to make your life easier. It may not, sometimes you something looks more complicated than it is and that's I get so many people asking me well how'd you do a book they want it because to people it's more complicated than it actually is how'd I get a book done I got lucky someone else I hooked up with we talked he wanted to do a book then while we were getting it all organized a businessman Steve Hambling the owner of Piccolo Grande well he used to own Piccolo Grande he jumped on board, he hooked us up with a printer, he basically backed us with the printer so he was going to make sure that they got their money. So he became our publisher. So all the hard stuff, we found a simpler way of doing it. And it worked for us. It won't work for everybody, but it worked for us. And everything in life that seems really complicated can sometimes really be broken down into a simplified manner if you don't try and do it all yourself and don't get over your head. Don't try something too big. And for me, it's work. I'm off the streets. Yeah, I'm still sitting here doing my thing. But I'm off the streets. I've got a place to live. I have a book out. I'm known around the world. I'm on the web. I've I've written in like four years well over 500 poems. Wow. 
many of them I don't have copies of. Most of them I don't have copies of anymore. So I've actually left a bit of a legacy that I find pretty amazing considering that, like I say in the book, I spent most of my life being an asshole. You know, I was involved in crime and stuff like that. And it finally became, you know, I ended up out here and enough was enough. And I found something that actually works for me and people appreciate. Some people still look down on me for sitting here, but that's fine. That's not my problem. That's exactly. theirs. Exactly. My problem is that, you know, I'm moving ahead, but I'm pretty slow. <laughs> that's my, I'm a bit of a slow poke at times. How long have you been writing poetry for? I've been writing poetry most of my life, but uh, when I ended up out in the streets here in, 90, in 2006, uh, I was down by Giant Tiger panhandling one day, and I hated doing that. I hated just sitting there asking people. And this gentleman stopped, he gave me five dollars, stood back, looked at me, and he said, uh, you know, can't you sing, dance, play an instrument, don't you got a talent? And I'm like, I write poetry. And I wrote one called A Panda's Perspective, and people like it, and so I started writing. And next thing you know, I'm sitting there, and from one little piece of cardboard oh sitting beside me, I had 10 or 20, and then all of a sudden I had a suitcase with all these pieces of cardboard with poems written on them. And next thing you know, like, so... Someone woke me up. It took me a long time to see it myself that I had a talent for something. And when I finally did, now I'm using it to take me to a better place. That's and good. hopefully it does that.